located in the northwest of Iran, at the foot of Mount Alvand. In the Zagros mountain range lies Hamadan, considered the oldest city in Iran, as it is located near the archaeological site of Ekbatana, the summer residence of the Achaemenid rulers. Hamadan is home to places of extraordinary historical importance and exceptional beauty. The natural caves of Ali Sadr, from the Jurassic period, and the archaeological site of Ganjname, on a plain of land scorched by the sun in summer and covered in snow in winter, lies the entrance to the Ali. Sadr Hypogil Caves, considered one of the most beautiful in the world due to the presence of an enormous underground lake with pure water that does not host any forms of life. Visiting the lake is done through small rowing or pedal boats with each boat accommodating no more than four or five people and visitors must wear life jackets. Once seated, the boat gently glides across the crystal clear surface, slowly navigating through the crevices and tunnels. Some of the tunnels have low ceilings, requiring caution to avoid hitting one's head, while in other areas, the ceiling is so majestic that it seems far away. At certain points, the boat brushes against the rock, which feels as cold as the water in the lake. The lake's color is so pure and crystalline that the stalactites hanging from the ceiling appear amplified and multiplied as if reflected in a mirror, while large stalagmites suddenly appear like silent sentinels of the lake. Sometimes the stalactites and stalagmites merge to form imposing columns. Nature is still and silent in the Ali Sutter Caves, with tranquility interrupted only by the sound of oars or pedals breaking the water and the amazed voices of visitors. Occasionally, the boatman pauses to allow a better view of certain cavities, and in those moments, everything becomes suspended. It feels as if time suddenly stops, and the only sound one hears is the beating of their own heart in the presence of such pristine beauty which manages to bring peace to the world. Adding to the fascination is the artful play of light and shadows illuminating the darkest areas and showcasing the unique rock formations that would otherwise be invisible in the darkness. Thanks to the magic of sunlight penetrating through some tunnels, the water gradually takes on different shades, ranging from emerald green to azure, blue, and indigo. One can find these overflowing colors on the carpets knotted by the nomadic tribes of the area, leaving one wondering if the first carpet weavers of the region took inspiration from the colors of the lake to create the patterns that shape their creations. Some sections of the caves can be explored on foot, allowing visitors to temporarily abandon the boat and return to it when they wish to go back.